The world of professional photography is about to change forever. While many people were busy talking about the latest releases from Sony and Canon, Nikon was quietly working on something much more powerful. This is the Nikon Z9 II. The original Z9 was a huge success because it was the first pro camera to remove the mechanical shutter entirely. It proved that electronic precision was the future. But now, in 2026, Nikon is preparing to launch a new monster. This camera is expected to combine Nikon's legendary build quality with professional cinema technology from RED. This is not just a small update to an old camera. This is a complete takeover of the professional market. The biggest secret of the Z9 II starts with the sensor. The original Z9 had a 45 megapixel sensor that was the gold standard for speed. However, for 2026, the bar has been raised much higher. Reliable reports suggest that Nikon is testing a staggering 61 megapixel high speed stacked sensor. This would be a massive jump in resolution. It would allow photographers to capture more detail than ever before while keeping the incredible speed that sports and wildlife shooters need. Imagine having the resolution of a studio camera with the speed of a sports flagship. This combination would allow you to crop into your images and still have enough detail for a massive billboard. But there is an even more exciting rumor floating around. Some insiders believe Nikon is working on a hybrid global shutter sensor. A global shutter captures every pixel at the exact same time. This means rolling shutter distortion becomes physically impossible. When you are shooting a fast-moving object, like a race car or a golf swing, the image will be perfectly straight. Even when you pan the camera very quickly, there will be no jello effect or warping. This is the technology that professional photographers have been dreaming about for years. If Nikon delivers this with high resolution, it will change the way we capture action forever. To handle all of this massive data, Nikon is introducing the XP8 image processor. This is the new brain of the camera. It is not just a small boost in speed. The XP8 is rumored to feature a dedicated neural processing unit, or NPU. This is important because it takes artificial intelligence to a whole new level. Most cameras can track a subject but the Z9 II will be able to predict its movement. It won't just look for a bird's eye, it will predict where the bird will fly based on how its wings are moving. For sports photographers, the camera could even recognize specific plays on a field and focus on the player with the ball before the action even starts. This new processor will likely double the calculation speed of the original Z9. This ensures that every single frame is perfectly sharp, even when shooting at very high speeds. But the upgrades aren't just for photographers. Ever since Nikon bought the Red Digital Cinema Company, filmmakers have been waiting for a true crossover camera. The Z9 II is expected to be that bridge. We are hearing reports of internal 8K recording at up to 120 frames per second. But the real news is the support for Red's professional RAW files. If the Z9 II can record these files natively, it will become a top choice for Hollywood film sets and high-end commercial work. Nikon is also working on a much better cooling system. The Z9 was already great at handling heat, but the Z9 II is being engineered to record high-resolution video indefinitely. You will be able to shoot 8K video in the middle of a hot summer day without worrying about the camera shutting down. Physically, the camera will still have the large vertical grip that professionals love. However, we expect several refinements to the design. There may be a new smart hot shoe that allows for professional digital audio without using extra cables. The electronic viewfinder is also expected to get a huge upgrade. It will be so bright and sharp that it will look just like an old optical viewfinder, even in direct sunlight. This is a tool built for the most demanding professionals in the world. The professional camera world is entering a strange moment. On the surface, everything looks competitive. Sony is pushing speed. Canon is pushing reliability. Everyone is chasing the same headlines. But underneath all of that noise, something quieter and more serious is happening inside Nikon. And it points directly to the Nikon Z9 II. When the original Z9 launched, it already broke the rules. Nikon removed the mechanical shutter entirely. That alone changed how people thought about mirrorless cameras. No moving parts. No shutter wear. No blackout. At the time, Many people thought Nikon was taking a risk. But over time, the Z9 proved something important. You do not need old solutions if your sensor and processor are fast enough. Now, according to multiple leaks and long-term roadmaps, 
Nikon is preparing to push that idea much further. The Nikon Z92 is not shaping up to be a normal update. It is not about fixing small complaints. It is not about keeping up with competitors. Everything about this camera suggests a deliberate attempt to leap ahead and redefine what a flagship hybrid camera can be. The heart of that change starts with the sensor. The original Z9 used a 45.7 megapixel stacked CMOS sensor. Even today, that sensor is still considered one of the fastest and most reliable sensors in professional photography. It handles sports. It handles wildlife. It handles fast electronic shutter readout with minimal rolling shutter. But time does not stop, and expectations have moved forward. The most credible reports coming out of Japan suggest Nikon is testing two different sensor paths for the Z9 II. Both paths are aggressive. Both signal ambition. The first path is a high-resolution stacked sensor in the range of 60 to 61 megapixels. This is not just about adding pixels. This is about matching and surpassing the resolution territory traditionally dominated by Sony's high-resolution cameras, without sacrificing speed. A 60-megapixel stacked sensor would allow Nikon to offer extreme detail while still delivering burst rates that action photographers depend on. This matters because resolution and speed rarely live together comfortably. High-megapixel sensors often struggle with readout speed. That leads to rolling shutter. It leads to slower bursts. Nikon appears to be attacking that problem directly instead of avoiding it. But the second rumored path is even more disruptive. There is strong talk of a hybrid global shutter-like sensor developed with Tower Jazz. A true global shutter reads the entire sensor at once. That eliminates rolling shutter completely. Fast pans. Flash sync at any speed. No distortion. But global shutter sensors usually come with trade-offs, especially in dynamic range and low-light performance. What Nikon appears to be testing is not a traditional global shutter, but something close enough that the difference becomes irrelevant in real-world use. Readout speeds are so fast that rolling shutter effectively disappears. Even during extreme motion. Even during fast sports action. If Nikon pulls this off, it would quietly solve one of the last major compromises of mirrorless cameras. And that brings us to the processor. The Nikon Z92 is rumored to debut the new EXPT 8 processor. This is not just a faster version of EXPT 7. According to leaks, EXPT 8 includes a dedicated neural processing unit. This changes how autofocus and subject detection work at a fundamental level. Right now, autofocus reacts. It sees a subject and tracks it. With a neural processor, the system becomes predictive. It does not just recognize an eye or a face. It learns patterns. It anticipates movement. It makes decisions before the action fully unfolds. For wildlife photographers, this could mean tracking a bird not just by its eye, but by its wing position and flight behavior. For sports photographers, it could mean identifying the key player in a chaotic scene and prioritizing focus before the decisive moment happens. This is not science fiction. This is where computational imaging is already heading. Nikon appears ready to push it into professional tools. The result is autofocus that does not slow down even during high-speed raw bursts. Autofocus calculations that stay accurate at extreme frame rates. Confidence that every frame in a sequence is usable, not just the lucky ones. But the Z92 is not only about photography. Since Nikon acquired RED, the industry has been waiting for the first real crossover. Not a marketing badge. Not a small feature. A genuine blending of professional cinema thinking with Nikon's flagship hardware. The Z92 is widely expected to be that bridge. Leaks suggest internal 8K recording at very high frame rates. But more importantly, there is serious talk of native RED codec support. If our 3D or a RED-derived compressed RAW format becomes part of the Z92, this camera changes its role entirely. It stops being just a hybrid camera. It becomes a legitimate cinema tool. At that point, the Z92 is not only competing with Sony and Canon hybrids. It becomes a viable B-camera for professional film productions. Same color science. Same post-production flexibility. Same timeline compatibility. For filmmakers, this matters more than resolution charts. Matching footage across cameras saves time. Time saves money. And consistency builds trust. Heat management is another critical piece of this puzzle. 
The original Z9 already earned a reputation as a thermal powerhouse. It could record long sessions without shutting down. Nikon is reportedly improving this further with a redesigned internal heatsink and magnesium alloy structure. The goal is clear. Indefinite 8K recording. Even in harsh environments. Even during long events. This is not about bragging rights. This is about reliability. Professionals do not forgive cameras that quit mid-job. Physically, the Z9 II is expected to keep the integrated vertical grip. That design choice was never about aesthetics. It was about balance. About battery life. About control during long sessions. Nikon understands that professionals prefer stability over compactness at this level. However, refinements are coming. Rumors point to a new smart hot shoe similar to what Nikon has introduced on its cinema-oriented bodies. This could allow multi-channel digital audio without external cables. Cleaner setups. Fewer failure points. Faster deployment. The electronic viewfinder is also expected to see a major upgrade. Reports suggest a jump to around 9 million dots with extremely high brightness. Bright enough to be usable in direct sunlight. Sharp enough to feel almost optical. This matters because professionals still rely heavily on viewfinders. In fast action. In harsh light. A great EVF is not a luxury. It is a requirement. Now comes the question everyone asks next. Timing and price. With the 2026 Winter Olympics approaching, insiders expect Nikon to align the Z9 II release with major global sports coverage. A development announcement in late 2025, followed by a full release in early 2026 fits that pattern perfectly. Pricing is where Nikon may surprise everyone. Instead of pushing the Z9 II into extreme luxury territory, Nikon is rumored to keep pricing aggressive. Around the same level as the original Z9. This is a strategic move. Nikon has always positioned its flagship as a tool for working professionals, not just prestige buyers. If Nikon delivers a 60-megapixel stacked sensor, near-global shutter performance, XP8 with neural autofocus, and red-level video integration at that price point, competitors will be forced to respond.